got some sunscreen products. I won't show you the brand. If you're a dermatologist, or if you're my dermatologist, or um, you really like to buy sunscreen, you may be familiar with them, even if I don't show you the brand. But um, I would just like to show you some things uh, for those of you who aren't really familiar on which uh, details you should be checking when you're buying a sunscreen. Number one you should check, of course, is dun, 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 the SPF. Okay, so let's choose this this one. Okay, so how do I choose this? Yeah. Okay, so there, I don't know if it's registering in the screen, it's the first time doing this. Then, okay. So this one is an SPF uh, 60. It says it's SPF 60. And then, uh, Underneath it, it says it's broad spectrum SPF 60, and then it is water resistant. Okay, I don't know. It's not better. Yeah, it says it's water resistant for 80 minutes. So, uh, whenever you buy sunscreen, you should check how long it's water resistant. If it's if you're gonna use the sunscreen uh, when you go to the beach or if you're gonna get wet, you have to check if it's waterproof or water resistant and how long it's going to be protecting you uh, for you to get an idea if it's really going not going to budge. If it's not going to be agad if you if you're just you know immersed in the water for so long. So I think that's one of the things you should be checking because um, I've I you know a lot of people they just check the SPF and then if it's at least SPF 30 and above. Diba, that yun na, okay na sa kanila yun. They don't check if how long or kung water resistant, kung waterproof yung kanilang sunscreen. Number two is, uh, you can um, also check if it's UV. Ay, ay, you check if it's broad spectrum. Um, it depends on the brand really. Eh, but they normally write it down if it's broad spectrum. They, they will write it down if it's broad spectrum, UVA, UVB. So you can see uh, it's in the bottom of, but basically it's in the bottom, so fine print niya underneath. Do nila nilalaga yung details about the sunscreen. So for this particular one, it says it's mineral, uh, it protects for UVA, high protection UVA, UVB was broad spectrum SPF 50 and it's 100% mineral filters which is basically a physical sunscreen. Kapag sinabing minerals, normally it's just physical sunscreen. And there. And the next one is, what else? Ah, this type of sunscreen, it's called, uh, okay, so again, it's broad spectrum UVA, UVB, so you can see. Yeah, and broad spectrum UVA, UVB, and, um, SPF 50. So when you look at it, it's a spray. It's a spray. So uh, there are different um, kinds of sunscreen. It could be like a cream, lotion, aerosol, or a spray. So the thing I want to to share with you is that uh, sometimes, you know, when you apply your sunscreen, when you reapply, and um, oftentimes I see patients who like to buy this type of spray type because it's more easy to reapply. Uh, they reapply it near the beach, so they're there. So um, it can it can fly. <laughs> so, pag aerosolized or spray type of sunscreen, it can be harmful din din pala. So for the environment, for the coral reefs. So um, I really don't recommend this. Um, you know, yung mga aerosol type na sunscreen, because um, it can also be harmful for the corals. For um, I'm sure not directly because there are other things that can still harm them, like of course, you know, pollution, plastic, and all of those um, factors. But um, just be careful where you apply your sunscreen, and uh, you know, you don't. Hindi mo lang siyang spray kung saan saan na, but yung mga uh, sand uh, it will wash out agad sa sea. Okay, so nice, nice to share. And then here, there's this sunscreen. It says SPF 90 here. Anyways, it's SPF 90. And 
what I want to say is that there are a lot of sunscreen out there, SPF 90, SPF 100, and then I do get that patient who just wants the very, very, very high SPF. So, bilhin niya yung pinakamatas na SPF available in the market, not necessarily in my clinic. And then they'll just apply it once a day. So, um, di na sana very apply, they think na they're, they're set, they're okay na kasi matas na yung SPF nila eh. So, again, I want to repeat, reapply. Uh, apply the right amount, reapply every two hours if you can. Masipag ka, may time ka, you can reapply every two hours. And then what else? Ah, this one, there is there there is this thing called, um, it's in a bottle, it's called oral sunscreen and it's available in um, certain clinics. From your board certified dermatologist, be careful where you buy your oral sunscreen because of course we ingest it. I see it in some online shops and just be careful that um, from where you get it. I suggest you get it from your board certified dermatologist so you know that it's authentic and it won't harm you. So um, these are really good because they help you not um, burn under the sun but still even if you're taking the oral sunscreen you should be still applying the topical sunscreen and um, those who like to you know like check Google or in the YouTube or TikTok, some um, they just take the oral, they don't apply na. But like I said, you should apply this topical even if you're taking the oral. The purpose of this is it will um, lengthen the time. So, mas mahaba yung time na protected ka under the sun na hindi ka magburn.